so it happened again. There was what? a uh, a trans lady uh, dominating a track event, crushing it. Women are getting better at sports. Uh, getting, when was the WNBA going to catch up to track? The thing that never happens happened again, says Riley Gaines. Male Sadie Camden Schreiner broke two more women's college records at, I guess, at Rutgers or IT. RIT. RIT Tigers. Women's records mean nothing if they're set by men. Look, I'll be honest, they mean nothing either way. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. Oh. I'm kidding. Come on. We're having fun. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Seriously, though. You know what else means nothing? The word woman. <laughs> what even is that? What is, what is a woman? Latest hero from the Marvel Cinematic Universe, Super Them. Yeah. No, that's a she, sir. He, she can blur past all contenders like they were just a bunch of schoolgirls. <laughs> <laughs> It looks like in Captain America when Captain America's lapping the black guy on the track. He's yes. running around him. He's like, brings, How could that happen? This brings a whole new meaning to the term flash, especially in the locker room. Am I kidding? Come on. <laughs> uh, fair. The the term fair, Kurt, uh, is just for skin tone in today's women's sports. I'll tell you that. <laughs> yeah. Who like? <laughs> so here's here's the here's the lady. Here's the lady out there getting it done like a good lady. How how are the that's, other women going to even see her dick? She's too fast from on every fast. level. <laughs> They'd never be catch up to her to see her dick. It's not even an issue. She's just just cute enough that if she ends up in prison, in a men's prison, it's a good thing she can run. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, well, she okay. won't be running against women, will she? So you want to see it? Here's here's a little bit of it. Here's a little bit of it. Watch watch. She's just gonna. You know, there's no volume. Ooh. She's just gonna kick that ass. Tall, that tall drink of water. Look at her kicking ass, just blowing right past them. I mean, it's not even close. She's just running past them like they're a bunch of girls. You know, these <laughs> records are sent by like, what, a quarter of a second? <laughs> yes. This not not Rec- this one. Not this one. <laughs> so, um, there, anyway. So, so, you know Justice Ketenji Brown, who, who got appointed? Yes. They asked her, like, what, you know, what is a what? She goes, well, I'm not a biologist. I don't know. Uh-huh. And, and I'm telling you that people in politics, like, that she's sharp. Because that's a sharp answer to them. Where is the Benny Hill music for this? Shouldn't there be Benny Hill music underneath this? Um, uh, I guess the women could never overtake Benny Hill. <laughs> <laughs> running and the women couldn't catch him. <laughs> so guess what? Women's track and field, they gave her the the Liberty League weekly honor. Oh. RIT sophomore, sophomore Sadie Rose was named Liberty League Women's Track and Field Performer of the Week. Oh, man. Feminism should land on an aircraft carrier with mission accomplished and a big banner behind it. You did it, gals. She placed first in the 200, 300, and was a member of the winning 1,600-meter league. <sighs> they let her compete in a relay. Um, this is college, she set, right? she yeah. set the, the program record. In the 200 and the 300 and qualifying for the championship. At the t- she now has the top two times in those events in RIT program history. She also ran the... Wow. Well, now you know how I feel as a professional uh, comedian when a whole bunch of rich assholes decided that Hannah Gadsby was the future of comedy. <laughs> well, what's funny now is the nothing that's funny. Look, in the this re- news report says she's a woman. That's it. That's all it takes. Uh, yeah, that's how. That's who decides that. What do you think? You decide it with your eyes and and you know with measurements of uh, performance and testosterone. <laughs> Ryan Dawson says, uh, "Behind every great man is a whole team of slower women." <laughs> Come on, <laughs> is that an Epstein joke? I'm that's a good joke. Um, by the way, uh, like this th- meme says, "Women's sports is not a retirement plan for failed male athletes." It's also not even real sports, apparently. <laughs> How do you retire from a thing that's not even a thing? I think this is that. Is this what you were talking about? What? This is. Is this her? No, this is a different person. It's a different but person. But they're all trained to not. You, you're literally. If you're not an expert, you can't comment on reality that you're looking at because you're not a. So, so yeah, so, watch. So, look, watch yeah. this. You don't that believe are that a biological male has a physical advantage in sports over a biological female? Not as a, a definitive statement. Give me an example 
Well, no, I, I don't think he can't even finish it. It's too stupid. How, 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 how many female members of the NBA do you see? Well, I can say that, you know, there's been this news article about men that think that they could beat Serena Williams in tennis. Right. That they think that they could actually score a point on her. Um, and it's just not the case. She is stronger uh, than that. What's your what experience, article? Ben? So, so what's that? There's no news article about There's no news article about that. And so here's here. You want to go right to the horse's mouth? Here's Serena Williams. She's going to tell you that she can't beat a man. Murray, he all oh, he was been joking about um, myself and him playing a match. And I'm like, Andy, seriously, like, are you kidding me? Because for me, tennis and men's tennis and women's tennis are completely almost two separate sports. So I'm like, if I were to play Andy Murray, I would lose 6 0 6 0 in five to six minutes, maybe 10 minutes. Because it's, <laughs> no, no, it's are, true. It's honestly, true. It's a completely. Really? It's a completely different sport. The men are a lot faster, and me and um, they they get they serve harder, they hit harder. It's just a different game. And I love to play women's tennis, and I I only want to play girls because I don't want to be embarrassed. I would not do the tour. I wouldn't do Billie Jean any justice. So Andy, stop it. Yeah, we're not gonna. I'm not gonna let you kill me. And so there Letterman you, couldn't believe it. Like right, he was Did like not watch tennis. So here, Serena Williams once challenged a men's player at the Australian Open. Oh, I remember this, and she was funny about it after, right? Yeah. So did she? Did she? Did she challenge one of the top guys? No, she challenged. She said anybody ranked around the top two hundred, if someone wanted to, so two hundred or above. Try to make it fair. She tried to make it fair. So this guy took her up on it. That guy. His name is uh, Karsten Brash. And Brosh would smoke cigarettes and sip beer during the changeovers. And to be honest, he no longer looked part of a fit professional <laughs> athlete. He got up that morning and he went and played a round of golf before he came there. And he was drinking and smoking. Right. It made no matter. He won he led five to nothing over Serena before winning the set six one and then posted a six two set victory over Venus. <laughs> he did pull sisters. Um but she was like, uh, I see, I like her because I think I remember this. We talked about this a long time ago. Was John McEnroe, they were mad that he said that, that she's the, he goes, she's world class. She's the best in the world, female tennis, but she couldn't beat a man at it. The, the reporters were outraged. And I saw another clip of someone else demanding he apologize for saying that. Yes, John McEnroe. Yeah, the, I saw, I've yes. seen two different ones where they couldn't believe she, the woman herself no, is saying, saying it can't be done. No, oh, they want. They and wanted, she's the expert. They wanted John McEnroe to apologize for that on CBS Morning News. Remember with uh, Charlie Rose. Um, it was all in good fun, but 19 years later, and rec and a record six Australian Open titles later, Williams laughingly insists recall of the event was not in her memory bank. So, just to let you know, Glenn Greenwald tweeted this out. He says, Renee Richards, so I, was, I, I remember this. It happened in my lifetime. That was the first trans female tennis player. And she transitioned in her 40s. Uh, she sued the WTA after her transition in 1977 at the age of 43. And she won the right to compete against pro female players. She rose to the top 20 in women's sports in her mid-40s. It wasn't controversial? In her mid-40s. Oh, Richard's yeah. a real brave pioneer of trans rights and visibility herself now believes it was wrong for her to compete with women. She regrets suing. She says she'd have destroyed all women players if she transitioned in her 20s. So if she was playing in her 20s, she would have in her 40s. She was almost beating the top women who were in their 20s. Both Chris Everett and Martina Navratilova are among the 20th century's greatest athletes, pioneers for women's tennis only only after Billie Jean King. Chris Everett and Richards almost says Richards almost beat her when Chris Everett was number one in the world and Richards was 44 fucking years old. <laughs> Both of those people oppose trans women in pro sports. Well, you, Chris yeah. Everett, Martina Navratilova, and Renee Richards. Here's why I really do sympathize with the female athletes because I'm the kind of chump who likes to stand up. A thing that, you know, I'm like a loser. I'm not a successful mentality person. <laughs> <laughs> and and athletes are the same thing. Like I have the same dog mentality as an athlete. I like the game I'm playing. Okay. But the people that fund that, they don't care about your sport. So all the hoopla and all like the TV and everything you see, the people that make that don't give a fuck about the thing you love at all. At all. 
one thing I had to learn when I got, we all have to learn getting into comedy, is that comedy, being funny, is about the 10th thing of importance on the list. <laughs> That's why when people get mad at, like, what's his name, uh, uh, Brandon, to what, you know, Rogan's buddy that went into stand-up, there's a whole industry of hating oh, him. Oh, Brent Schwab? Yeah, and, and, and if you're complaining about him, don't buy a ticket. You sound like somebody complaining about not going to the WNBA right. to watch women's sports. If you the game is money and selling tickets, the part you like and... I understand the feeling. I have that feeling. That's what losers worry about. Even if you get paid $40 million, you're a slave. That's when you laugh at athletes to go, oh, I'm basically a slave. Shut up. You're rich. No, they are. The people that own them make billions off them and they give them a pittance. They don't think your sport is important. They never did. Pretty much is probably a eugenics test for whatever dark gods they worship. <laughs> it's all for money. So this is where you get to see how much the elite the people, the owners, and the people that got to do the thing, how far apart they really are. Actress, uh, uh, entertainer, of, or, or athlete, you're just a slave whore to these people. And they're going to change the rules whenever they want, and if you don't like it, they will change the rules of reality you, and fuck you. I cannot believe women are putting up with this shit. Well, I, I, I admire can't the believe those. Don't. I can't believe the women competing just don't go, all right, fuck this. You know what? I admire anybody, uh, never this, mind this, woman, this. anybody who's like, go ahead and fire me. I don't care. If you ain't doing that at this point, you're a punk and a cow, male or female. You're beneath anyone that says reality and doesn't care about their career. Stop being a slave. Well, what about, so, you know, it's the old American saying, uh, hey, fella, if at first you don't succeed, doll up, slap on a pair of tits. And go get him, Tiger. <laughs> That's, what That's what that uh, shop teacher did in Canada, remember? Th and it yes. was a joke. Remember, we couldn't tell if it was a joke, but obviously it was. Does my dick make my ass look fat? Seriously. <laughs> no, it's I, I'm the real Tucker. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Glenn Greenwald, gay man, says this. He goes, the Williams sisters are among the greatest female athletes yet. At least the top 500 male players would beat them easily. Both Everett and Martina are liberals. Martina, when world famous, hired a trans coach in the 80s. Support. And then they kicked her out. Martina Trebilova, been, she's been excluded from LGBTQ uh, events. A because pioneering lesbian a pioneer athlete. Who hired a trans person in the 80s to coach her. They, she's kicked out because she disagrees with trans females but competing in women's sports. Do you know the creepy guy with the dead eye from the Church of Satan was getting flack for saying maybe kids shouldn't be given puberty blockers in the Church of Satan? No kidding. <laughs> wow. So this is what, so when you see that, that's called misogyny. Yeah. When So this here, this is called misogyny. When you, when you do that, that's called misogyny. You're, you hate women. You don't give a shit about women. I don't even know what they are. Who can say what a woman is? <laughs> Hate them. I don't even know what the hell they are. I don't know what a vaccine is. I don't know what democracy is. I don't know what any of the things are. Uh, every Nothing means anything. There's your own truth. I and saw I, a great this talk got, about and this. And this has got nothing to do with supporting tra people being trans. I'm 100% supportive of someone being trans. That's great. 100% supportive. No what shame. Is the, what is the part where I have to believe in my heart that I can't believe it's not butter is butter? Where, <laughs> what is that part? Like it's Jesus Christ. I have to believe. But in there it. is a there is an advantage being born a biological male in and then, sports and, and, and in sports and going through puberty with testosterone. Look, don't you worry. have bigger bones? You have bigger yeah. lung capacity. You have bigger the whole thing. Don't worry. In a couple generations, that will go away. What with all the microplastics and the shrinking taints and the lack of fertility, men's balls are smaller now. Like, don't worry, we're mutating into the small, great Greta Thunberg aliens that you dream of. <laughs> okay. Right now, it's, we're not there yet. It's still massive differences. Field of Greens, healthiest thing I do all day. So I don't get fruits and vegetables. But you get them through this. Once, Look at this. You take a scoop of this. You put it in your water, whatever. Some people put it in smoothies. I like the taste of it. Um. I think in the best way possible, it tastes like lemonade and fresh cut grass. If that's, uh, but it, it maybe that doesn't sound appealing, but it is. And um, it, that's how it tastes to me. But anyway, uh, it's nutrition and it's real food, right? So they take, they, it's all like fruits and vegetables. It's not filler. It's not garbage. Um, here, what else am I supposed to say about it? Um, so it gives you way more energy throughout the day. Misha can even attest to that. Misha said gave her more energy, correct? Mm -hmm. Misha says yes. 
Uh, sleeping better through the night. I tell you, I uh, all I know is I am sleeping better. Uh, I'm doing a lot of things to help myself sleep better. Um, healthier hair and skin. Well, you tell me. You tell me. How's my hair and skin look? You tell me. Uh, it helps with digestion and feeling. Uh, it's overall better feeling overall. That's the whole point. So feel the greens. It's radically different. Each organic fruit and vegetable was medically chosen to support heart and vital or uh, organ health. I trust Field of Greens to keep me healthy. I promise you're going to love this product, but if for any reason you don't like it, they'll give you a 100% money back guarantee. Can you believe that? So, And I also, get this, we got you a 15% off. That's the deal. Uh, plus free rush shipping. So go to fieldofgreens.com and use the promo code Jimmy. That's all you have to do. That's a promo code Jimmy at fieldofgreens.com, fieldofgreens.com. Get 15% off your first order and free rush delivery. Come see us on tour. We're going to be in Stroudsburg, Pennsylvania, Cortland, New York, Oakmont, Pennsylvania, El Paso, Texas, San Antonio, Texas, Vancouver, British Columbia, first show sold out, Denver, Colorado, Ashland, Virginia, Athens, Georgia, and Minneapolis, we're coming back to Minneapolis. If you couldn't get tickets last time, there'll be some available this time. We're doing two shows. Go to jimmydoor.com for a link for all those tickets. Mm -hmm.